Then maybe you could tell me, what is manga? Manga is, uh, to be short, the Japanese word for comics. And why is it uh, the subject of a large exhibition here at the Kunso? Um Well, I've been sometimes in, uh, in Japan and from the beginning on I was fascinated by this uh, rich culture of, of, of trash, of, of popular culture, of comic strips, magazines, you see them uh, all over the place, in the big cities. Uh, in, in stations, people are reading them everywhere, so yeah, you see that everywhere and if you buy a book, it's very cheap, then you see it's, 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 it's a trash culture, you, you read it and you throw it away, but it's, it's very well done, it's, it's nice, it's a way of art, and so yeah, I thought, well, maybe it's a, guy, it's, it's a good subject for an exhibition, and uh, so we did it. Now I noticed that uh, they cover almost every subject from uh, mythology to sex. Uh, what what's the idea behind manga? Uh, well, manga is, is very broad. I mean, there there are many target groups. You you might say uh, housewives, students, younger children, uh, parents, uh, political, uh, satirical uh, things, uh, historical mangas. So you might say for every target group there is a, a special kind of manga, and that makes it very broad and very uh, interesting as well. I notice you've included in your exhibition a series of television sets playing what looks like what we see on Saturday mornings, cartoons. What is that? Uh, that's what it's called anime in Japan. It's, it's coming from animation, of course. And anime is uh, a derivated uh, form from, from manga. So manga is, is, the, is in print, you might say. It's, it's in books, in comics books. And anime, animation, is or in video, on television, broadcasted, or in film. And that's, uh, so in this exhibition there's a small corner where we show some anime. Now the Japanese have imported a lot of ideas from the West. Is this another idea coming from the West that has been made kind of typically Japanese? Um, well, manga is, is in its origin, of has uh, very old Japanese origins. It's coming back, dating back to uh, Hokusai, early 19th century woodblock uh, printing, so there is a strong Japanese uh, tradition in, in making uh, prints. But there's also uh, a phenomenon that they looked to the West. Uh, they, they knew Mickey Mouse and they knew Disney and, and they saw the, in, the enormous uh, popularity of this. So you might say that modern day manga is a kind of, of mix of this old tradition and the new Western oriented uh, comics styles. So much of Japanese uh, behavior is tradition bound. Uh, this seems to have a, uh, they almost seem conservative in their, uh, their outlook, but this, as you say, is a trash culture. Is this a release for them of form? Um, yeah, that's always difficult to explain. I mean, I'm a foreigner and, and uh, I cannot read Japanese. Uh, I, I, I can see it, I can, I can understand it a bit. Um, and there are many questions still about the uh, immense popularity on manga. I mean, people read it. To, to people, people in Japan love reading. That's for sure. They they, they love to, to 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 consume these the, these books, to uh, to read it in a train and, and to um, to commute in a way to 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 isolate yourself with the, with this book. Um, yeah, that, that's. Um, I don't know why they, why they do it and why everybody is doing it, but it's, it's a kind of individualism that, that is uh, very strong in, in, in Japanese culture. And uh, yeah, but it's also for the whole community. So you do it by yourself, but everybody's doing the same thing. So there's, yeah, there's, yeah I don't know, that's typical for Japan, I guess. Now, is there special techniques that they use to make this manga? Yeah, well, uh, most of, of almost all manga is in black and white. That has to do with a very uh, quick way of, of making it, of producing it. Weekly magazines in, in uh, yeah, four or five million uh, copies. So that's an enormous uh, production. So it's black and white, except for the, co for the, for the covers. That's in full color. That makes it uh, sell better, of course. And um, there are techniques in a way um, that looks a lot on, on film. So there is uh, in Western style comics, you have uh, a page and, uh, that looks very uh, balanced. All the frames are more or less the same. But in Japanese manga, there is, um, 
there is something strange going on. You have very small strange, you have frames on two pages, you have uh, a rain, for instance, for four or five pages. It's still the same rain going on, and that's, yeah, that's like a film. And that's, that, that's a, this rain says it's, it's raining very long, so it takes four or five pages to, to feel the, the time um, uh, continuing. So, um, in, in, in framing, there, there's, uh, yeah, manga is, is, is very special and that's, uh, to us it's very strange to have very small close-ups uh, made on a page like that. And that's, um, yeah, that makes it very, very nice for, for us as, as, as art people to look at. Now, our comic books in the West are often, a, when a character is making a speech, he has a balloon above him and coming down. Is that how they do mm -hmm. the manga? Uh, sometimes they, they use balloons as well, but uh, the Japanese uh, writing is of course different than we have in the West and the, uh, the Japanese characters are more, they have a more visual quality than, than we have in, in, the, in the West. Uh, the, 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 the character for tree, for instance, looks a bit like a tree, so without reading and, and knowing Japanese, you can see that sign, well, that's a tree, that's for sure, I mean, a, a child can understand that. So it has a more visual uh, quality, higher visual quality than we have in the West. And it has a higher acoustic quality as well in the West. So if it's raining or if a door shuts, then we write a uh, bang or, or something like that. But uh, in, in Japanese, there is a sound uh, that's, that's saying, uh, there's a character saying bang and that has a more uh, acoustic quality. You, you have to pronounce it as, as bang, and that's, yeah, that's, uh, and also the, um, how to say, if it's raining again, then we have water drops falling, it's drip, 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 we say, we, we write it, you can read it, drip, 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 but in Japanese it has a character saying, you have, you have to pronounce as chu, so there's, that's more uh, water, there's, there's more, uh, more close to the, to what's, what's it about, and that's, uh, so it is more, visual quality and more acoustic quality as well and that's uh, yeah. now I will assume that the manga exhibition has something to do with the Dutch Nederland uh, the Nederlands Japanese connection right? yeah. that's right the Dutch were the not the first but they have the the Portuguese were the first Western uh, country to uh, to encounter the Japanese uh, archipel but the Dutch um, were there uh, for about 400 years and they were, during these 400 years, almost the only country who could, uh, who traded with the Japanese. Japan was closed, was isolated, and until the Meiji Restoration, 1868, it was forbidden for other countries to, uh, well, to have contacts with, uh, with Japan. So the Dutch had a monopoly, and it makes this very strong uh, historical relationship with, uh, between both countries. Now, how long will this exhibition be on display here at the Kunsthal? The exhibition Manga Manga can be seen till 26th of March. Thank you very much for being with us. Okay, thank you.